good day, good day, good day, good day. It's John Akim Shuma Day of Agape Love International Ministry. Coming to you again as our New Year broadcast. Welcome to our January edition. We thank God, the Father, the Son, and the God, the Holy Spirit, for bringing us so far on to the new year. We thank him for his promises fulfilled in our life, for the promises that is awaiting fulfillment. We thank God uh, for the fulfillment of promises currently being prepared into manifestation. Mm. The one we have not even had, but the Lord has already prepared it. We thank God for the victory of the past, the present, and the future. We thank God for his evidential success. I said this year and beyond, uh, there will be evidence of your success, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, in our health. Uh, we speak wholeness, uh, body, soul, spirit. Uh, we speak power of the Almighty, be and do unto you and I, uh, and everything that we touch uh, shall become successful. Uh, we speak greatness, greatness, greatness. Uh, the body of Christ, uh, the body of Christ shall know him more, shall gravitate towards the true spirit of the Lord uh, and his servant. Uh, I say we speak, we speak uh, the wholeness, 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 body, soul, spirit, uh, and the greater manifestation of the knowledge of the Lord uh, and his word uh, in this session. Uh, I say, Father Lord, we thank you, Lord, uh, for what you already done. Ah, uh, I need uh, to make something clear today. Uh, we are in a new calendar. January. This lunar calendar we are operating, it is not necessarily the same calendar operated by God. We are operating the calendar that we created. Yes, he said, whatever we agree on earth shall be agreed in heaven. But I want some clarity. The Bible says in the beginning, Genesis 1, verse 1, to five, he, he went thus. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. And the God then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. I speak now. Let there be light. Illumination in the spirit. Illumination in the spirit. Illumination in the spirit. Because when there's illumination in the spirit, there's illumination on earth. There's illumination on the spiritual realm. There's illumination on the financial realm. Let there be illumination in our mind. As the Spirit illuminate our mind. As the Spirit illuminate our mind. Let there be light. Let everything that represents darkness begin to disappear. Begin to dissipate. Everything that has been hanging around us. That is refusing to go. That want to make your own body. In terms of the family spirit and all the spirit and not of God I say let the full beam of God's light come into it now and let darkness disappear he says he says he says let there be light and there was light and I'm speaking let there be light now let there be light now and and he said he saw the light was good and God divided light from darkness today I divide you from darkness. I divide you and your household and your family from darkness. In this new year, I said darkness will not form part of you. Darkness will run far. Hello, because when light hello, comes hello. into a thing, darkness disappears. And I command every form of darkness in your home, in my home, in your ministry, in my ministry, in the environment, in our family. Let 
let darkness disappear. I say we put an end to the darkness and the wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus. The Bible continues to say, God called the light day and darkness. He called night. So the evening and the morning, it was the first day. This is the first month of 2024. So as I was saying before, as I was saying before, we need to have clarity. The real calendar begins with God. And it uh, ends in God, uh, not the one that the uh, that we operate on the planet Earth. Uh, so a day in the presence of God, a day in the presence of God uh, shall reveal uh, the greatness of God to you. Uh, what we call day, uh, it could be night to God. God. So everyone is in a different level. The time is the beginning of your time. And it could be for somebody else. It is the middle of their time. And some for other one. It is the end of their time. So you know the, the, the calendar of God is kind of different for every one person. May you know, may I know the real timing of God for our life. What is the real beginning of the year? What is the real beginning of his manifestation of his glory and his power in our life? Let it be revealed unto us because we need that, that revelation. Let it be known. Let it be known. We are all in a journey and we are at a different point in the high of God. So it may be January in our calendar, but to God's calendar, you might be in June already. So for some already in December, no, the calendar of God is different. And the beginning, while all this are in the end of their life. So let us, may we have the revelation of, of our real purpose on earth, revelation of our real calendar, of our real timing, what is God saying concerning them? concerning the real purpose. Uh, what is God saying uh, concerning our real need? Uh, let the Lord reveal to us uh, our real need. Uh, in this day, uh, we need to know the real day. There have been many prophecies about what is going to happen in 2024. I'm not coming from that angle. Uh, I'm saying uh, whatever that God has prepared for you and I, uh, may He be revealed to us. Uh, may we have the big picture. May God plan for us uh, for, be introduced to us uh, corporately, uh, as a family, uh, as an uh, individual, uh, that, that God's plan uh, in Christ Jesus, uh, what he has purposed for us, uh, the real timing of God, uh, the point is not that we must not miss, we must not miss the real timing of God. Uh, then my point is, uh, we must not miss uh, the real timing of God. Uh, I must not miss uh, the real timing of God. Uh, you must not miss uh, the real timing of God. Uh, what is God plan for us, for my life? Uh, Lord, uh, I ask now for revelation. Uh, what is uh, your real plan for us? Uh, what is your real plan for the body of Christ? Uh, what is your real plan uh, for our nation? Uh, Ah, for planet Earth, ah, what is our real? What is the timing ah, for all this planet? Ah, we don't want to miss it. Ah. Adam missed the real timing ah, of the Father by disobeying ah, the instruction. Ah. Moses ah, missed the real timing of God ah, by running ahead of him. Ah. Jacob ah, ah, would now change his name, he changed to Israel. Ah, missed the real timing of God ah, by using trickery ah, on his brother Esau. Laban ah, eventually missed the real timing ah, when he was trying to outwit Jacob, but God 
has given Jacob divine strategy. May you and I have this divine strategy for our greatness, for our moving, for this year and beyond, for everything that we do, both in ministry and in every year. John the Baptist, even as powerful as he is, he means the real timing and purpose. He sent in disciples to go to Jesus to determine if Jesus was the real Messiah that we've been expecting. They are cousins by for God's grace. You know, but he missed it. The Jews, they missed the real timing of the arrival of Yeshua. That's why they're still in the place where they are crying out for the return of the Messiah. The Messiah has already come. He's no longer a baby. He has lived. He has shown us what God is. He has given us a picture of what heaven is like. He came, he saw, he conquered, he even went to the pit of hell for three days. He conquered, he took the key, he holds the key of heaven and on earth. Jesus is Lord, that is a real purpose. Are you able to declare that? Yeah. So, my prayer is that they, they, we should not miss the real timing and purpose. This is the main point of my broadcast. I don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. I am praying for myself as I'm praying for you too. And you should be praying for yourself and your household that none of us will miss the real timing. Never mind what the prophecy is saying. No matter what disaster has been arranged or is going to happen, if we are in Christ, we are cocooning him. It would not come to our dwelling places. You see, when disaster was coming into Egypt, the blood was placed upon every household. I placed the blood, the mark of the blood of Jesus upon every household. Everyone listening to me here, everyone that would dare to obey and to find out from God, I placed on the body of Christ the, the, the mark of the blood, of the blood that no whatever is supposed to be happening uh, that uh, they will pass over us. Uh, they will pass over us. Uh, pass over our home. Uh, pass over our family. Any accident, any disaster will pass over us. Uh, we put a mark of the blood upon our cars, uh, our property, every day of our belongings uh, and said uh, disaster pass over. The real timing of God is important. Uh, let us not miss it. Uh, even the disciples miss it. Uh, they miss it. Uh, they are trying to prevent him from going onto the cross. Uh, they miss it. Uh, may we not miss the real timing. Uh, so, Father, I pray today uh, that my utmost prayer is that, Lord, reveal unto us, uh, unto me, your plan. Uh, reveal unto my household, uh, to my ministry, your plan uh, for your specific timing uh, for my life, uh, for my household, uh, for, my, for, for our children's marriage, uh, for jobs, uh, for business, uh, for ministry, uh, our specific time so that we don't run ahead of you and miss it uh, so that we don't lag behind and to relax uh, and miss it too. Uh, that will be active uh, waiting uh, but not uh, not 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 choosing our own time uh, not helping ourselves. If this God did not help you, uh, I will help myself. God help those who help themselves. Uh, yes, we have to be active uh, but that will not miss it. Uh, I will not miss it. Uh, you will not miss it. Uh, that is the plan for today. Uh, yes, uh, Whatever has happened in the past, I pray now, forget the past and reach towards the new things that God has already prepared. Oh, the past, let you remain in the past. Accept what you cannot change and change what you are able to change, what is in your power to change. Let there be practical Christianity. Philippians 3, verse 13 to 14, it says, forget the past, reach unto the new thing. As for the timing of God, I pray for the revelation of Christ in our life to know the real timing. So, all this calendar month, January, February, March, whatever is it to December, it is what we created. But that one of God, 
I want to know, you want to know, and we want to walk in that real calendar. Let things begin to happen. We call upon, we call upon, upon the, 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 the owner of uh, the calendar of our life uh, for revelation now. Uh, I said that uh, we use, for practical purpose, we use the calendar that we created here. Then I refer by the man, he help us. Uh, it's good for chronological order. But we want to know the chronological order of God's plan for our life. Uh, that is my purpose this year. That is my plan. I don't want to run out and scatter. I don't want to do other people's work. I want you, Lord, show me, reveal unto me and to my household the real plan for each and every one of us, individually, corporately, corporately, ministry-wise, in the church, in every environment. Father, we thank you, Father, for this time together. Bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to your name. Again. Is John Akin Rukayo the Chuma Day of our Gabriel of the Shaman Street? Receive the love of God. Our purpose is to show forth the love of God to the world at large. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you for sharing. Bless you in Jesus' name. Pray. Hello, 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 hello. This is John Akim Shumade 